you doing with that H A W E thing? Can't rock with me. Welcome back to my channel, Zainet the Flash. And today we're doing another apartment tour. This is part two from the first video, if you watched it, of course. And we're gonna go see Westmar Student Lofts. I've heard some bad things, and I've heard some even more bad things. But I'm excited to see it for myself. You know. Even if it is like the model room, I heard um, they usually do the model room instead of the actual room, which is crazy to me. But you know, you live, you laugh, you learn, and you love. I actually think Westmar is convenient for my situation, which is why this might be the last apartment tour because I signed a lease. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But, you know, you can always break one, even with repercussions. And also, it's per person, which isn't, it's a student apartment, I don't know why it's per person. The consensus was that when they had like um, a college, like housing event, the consensus between each of the apartments was that you don't want to be responsible for someone else. So each room that's shaped like a cubby is 1900 for a student? I think that makes sense. Yeah, that 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 makes sense to y'all, I'm sure. But yeah, it's per person, which isn't my favorite thing. But my best friend, once again, is moving from Jersey to Atlanta with me just because we're, we're like this. We're literally, we're soulmates. That's my first love right there. And we're, yeah, we're just, we're just vibing right now, literally. So yeah, Westmore, it's, I've heard a lot of bad things from people who live there, people who've seen it. But once again, I'm ready to see for myself. I'm ready to ask the questions that I have concerning certain things. So that should be fun. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. But stick around, see Westmore with me, see the model room with me, and hear the answers to my questions. You know what I'm saying? Video cue. Okay, so first before we get into the apartment tour, which I won't be doing a voiceover for, um, it took an eight to ten minute ride. I don't know if it's because I went early, but Atlanta traffic decided it did not want to play me today, and I appreciate that. So thank you so much to Atlanta traffic. But from campus, it's really not that far, cause when you look on maps, it's like a fifty eight minute ride, and I was like, oh, <laughs> um, that's not. But when you experience it, it was okay. It, it was just light. specify how really close the apartment complex or Westmar is to different restaurants and the post office as well and a store and it's very walkable. I was actually surprised at how many restaurants there were. I seen like the steakhouse, the Asian cuisine, I seen a lot of stuff. And I was like, oh okay, this is nice. And it's very walkable. It's only up the block. You know how like well you'll see it. But Westmore has like this little isolated like route where you go in through like a circle. It's it's very nice. Okay, it's very nice. I don't mean to toot their horns so harshly right now, but it was given very much let me move in tomorrow. But yes, it was very beautiful out there. I seen a lot of people walking, so I know that it's for me because I'm from Jersey. I walk everywhere and it's only some rare occasions that I take the bus or the train or the light rail, whatever you want to specify. But Atlanta is usually like, if you don't have a car, you're out of luck. And I don't got my license yet, so I've been very unlucky. But yes, it was very, just very convenient for space and just very walkable. And also had a good, good spot for like restaurants. I'm still not over that. It's so nice. Um, have you, you've never been like on property before? I oh, have not though. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. So this is our one stuff real quick. So this is our mail area. Um, so all your like federal mail envelopes and stuff like that will be sent here. Okay. The mailboxes are per unit. So your roommate's mail will be in there as well. Alright. Um, but each of you should, um, you'll either receive a key or you can just come down to the office and have one made. Okay. So you can kind of are we going to make copies for each other, or do we each get a separate copy? So, they're all the same copy, okay. but if they need a copy, they'd have to, like, just come down. Okay. Get one. They have an ATM. Oh, yeah. And an ATM. Um, and then for, like, packages and stuff like that, like from Amazon, um, they'll all go in these package lockers. Okay. So, you get, like, an email or, like, a text message code. 
um, whenever they put a package in, and then you come down and use the code to go get your package. Okay. So this is, is it similar to right. Amazon Locker? Where, yeah. Okay. Like it's, it's pretty much the exact same. Process. Okay. That's not too bad. Thank you. So how often is it like restocked the vending machine? Um, it's restocked pretty often. My like vendors are really good about keeping it these four and then the uh, the four down on that end. So oh, okay. Well. So yeah, it's, it's always filled. Oh, you have a pool. Thank you. So our newly renovated resort style pool. Uh, oh. I'll let you. Oh, thank you. So it's getting about that time of year again. So hopefully this will be um, fully used this summer. You said it's newly renovated? Yep. So um, we actually didn't get our permit for it until around November last year. Um, so it really hasn't even been used. Is there a capacity limit or is it just like whoever's out here is just going to be out here? Um, as far as I'm aware, there's not a capacity limit. We haven't, like I said, it hasn't really been used, so we yeah. haven't really had to like set that yet. Awesome. This is nice. Yeah. yeah. It's not super deep either, so yeah, there shouldn't be morning to around 9:30 at night. Oh, it's a good um, time frame. Right now, we're so right now they're on a kind of wonky schedule, mm. um, where they'll go to certain schools. Yeah. They're on a wonky schedule right now where they'll go to like certain schools at certain times. Um, so with the current system, you kind of have to schedule out your day. It's like, okay, the bus is going to be here at like, uh, 5 30. So I need to have like, you know, this or that. Right. Um, so we're hoping that they'll go back to the old style early where they have three different shuttles for each of those schools. Oh, okay, thank you. I mean, since we share it, it definitely is. I've only went once, so I can't really like verify if it's consistent, but it's definitely something. Yeah, my school's library is like always filled, so I, I really don't. Um, I know you're in a two by two, uh, so I can kind of explain the things that would be different in your unit. Uh, and then I can also give you like a kind of top-down view of it, so you can kind of actually visualize those differences. 
Uh, do you know if you have like the master bedroom or the standard bedroom? I think I have the master. My roommate might have the other one. Or do we both have master bedrooms? So the two by two has one master and one standard. Okay, yeah, she has the standard then. Yeah, your roommate has the standard. Yeah, she has the standard one. So this is what that would look like, the standard bedroom. Oh, the closet space is nice. Yeah, yeah, and the closets, the closets and the bathrooms are the same size, regardless of uh, the room. Um, the desk is also the same size, it's just set up a little differently. So I know these come furnished, but do you guys allow people to take out stuff from the rooms or put their own stuff in? I am so sorry. <laughs> um, so our policy with that has kind of changed in the past few months. Uh, I don't there, but um, how much is there a here? This is the master bedroom? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you'll probably have a dresser more so like this one mm. than the one in there. Okay. Um, and this one you can kind of just like unsack it. And I have mine like just scooted under my bed. And then I have another dresser that I bought um, like up against the wall. Oh, this is a nice model though. That's did a really good job with the interior. Thank you, thank you. Outside of Westmar, tour is finished as you've seen. Um, it's very gorgeous in there. I'm no, I'm no. <laughs> I know people usually talk about the model room and how the model room and the actual room is very different. But the tour guy was talking about how like they did a lot of renovations and that the apartment complex had a facelift, which I thought was hilarious. But I don't think it looks that bad and then we can store like the furniture they have in there and replace it with our own which i think is great because i don't trust the beds like i don't know what they've been through but i don't want no parts in that so i thought like they gave us switch out and storage it even though they don't provide the storage still just the notion that we can switch out the furniture that they have is great i also think the area the study room area was nice the bedrooms were really big and well my bedroom is really big <laughs> i have like the two bedroom two bathroom lease the elite unit and i have the master bedroom i might switch it with um raya because she has canaan just to add more space for them but regardless I think it was really nice. Westmar, you did the big one. I can't lie to you. Can't lie. Uh, no, okay, so I had that. It's cute. I'm sure you've seen the door. I don't know how much you like that. But. The part that got cut off were just because of the filming issue, but I did want to show some pictures. I took and used the pictures of the model room. Very gorgeous. Like the interior snapped. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is like how it looked it was actually really gorgeous and i think because it's so spacious it's one of the best apartments i've ever seen for the price especially <laughs> i don't know what more to say but you know go get you one of these okay um before i head to the gym just want to point out westmart it's really not that bad once again i know the model in the actual room might be like drastically different but i really liked it and the area actually has a lot of surrounding restaurants and like stores and stuff. As soon as I seen that Asian cuisine restaurant, I was low key though. Like they, they had me, they hit me. So it was, it was just like, when do I move in? When? Like, let me know, just let me know. But it honestly wasn't that bad. I know current residents and like previous residents all have like their own, I don't point of view about it. I completely understand that I completely take that into consideration but I do think it's one of the best apartments I've seen and I've seen two it's one of the it's it's in the top three and not number three you know what I'm saying but yeah y'all thank you so much for watching have a good day like comment subscribe and share